Abby Andreg, Senior Director of Solution Consulting at Duck Creek. Thanks so much for joining us again. Uh, thank you, Andrew. It's great to be here. Last time we talked, we kind of ended with the concept that there may be a silver lining to COVID. Obviously, it's done some damage, but really, if we try to get some excitement out of it, it has fueled some innovation for insurance carriers. And ultimately, that's a good thing for the customers. So to kick off the new year, forced innovation, right? That's basically what happened throughout 2020. The push to modernize really started happening in days or weeks instead of the years that was originally planned. So what have you seen in, in terms of this? Yeah, I think um, there's a couple of areas that we've seen. One is specifically within the claims handling process. Anytime you traditionally were interacting face-to-face -face with a customer, those processes have had to be rethought. Yeah, in the age of COVID, you obviously want to reduce the number of face-to-face -face interactions. So a great example to think about is homeowners. Um, you have damage to your property. Traditionally, you might send out a field adjuster to take a look and write up an estimate. Um, what we're trying to do or what we're seeing carriers trying to do is avoid that face-to-face -face interaction and utilize some of the insure tech vendors and other technology that's available to choose the right method of inspection for the particular customer and for the loss. Um, so if you think about you know, a storm that's come through and a customer has damage to their home, uh, maybe your preference would be to have the customer just take some photos and send it for desk adjustment. And that's the way that you get your initial estimate. Now take that same scenario, but there's damage to the roof. You probably don't want your insured climbing up a ladder onto the roof to take photos. So being able to understand the circumstances of the loss, the different methods of inspection that are available to you, and then identifying the appropriate path to take, all of that becomes critical now when you're talking about COVID. And also you could even get into all of the named storms and the large storms that have occurred this year. Like all of these compounding factors are really forcing you to think about what kinds of, um, uh, um, what kinds of vendors do you want to try to include and incorporate into your workflow? Yeah, I think the intersection of these catastrophe events with the pandemic has really forced people to take action on this quicker than they might otherwise have. So obviously, there's a risk in trying new things, right? And we've seen the surge of intratech vendors and partners coming into the ecosystem. How do you balance this risk with trying new things, working with new partners, you know, if you're if you're a carrier, how would you sort of choose your path to innovation? Yeah, and last time we talked a bit about how do you choose the right insure tech vendors and how cloud to cloud connections are making integrations much easier. I think that comes into play here as well. But what we're seeing carriers who are very effective in this area do is adopt a test and learn mentality. So maybe you roll out a small pilot of a new process um, or a new vendor or predictive model that you're trying to incorporate to help you determine the appropriate method of, in method of inspection for your claims. You can try that out in a small area, test the results that you're seeing to basically prove or disprove your theory about how that's going to impact your claim handling process. And then with the codeless configuration and low code configuration that's available in modern claim systems today, it becomes very easy for you to tweak and modify those business processes very quickly to really get a lot of different data points to help you determine what is the ideal business process to roll out, you know, company wide. So you've seen this now for quite a while. I know you work with dozens of carriers and, and partners within the ecosystem. What's your dream here? What do you see as the future for claims processing? And I won't call out the carrier, but there was one I work with specifically, and I love the way that they put it, but a claim that manages itself. Oh, I love and that. and we, we've recently talked a lot about this uh, idea of automation versus manual processing. When is it appropriate to automate a function? When is it really better to hand it off for manual intervention? And that constant... Uh, shift between automation and manual intervention is really where carriers are, I think, struggling the most. So how do you get the correct balance there so that you're maintaining customer experience and that feel of um, handling their claims with a personal touch, uh, but also giving the digital interactions and the speed that comes with automation? And 
I think it's just really, uh, I'm very excited to see how we're going to be able to bring these technologies together to make it easier and easier for carriers to achieve that ideal mix of automation with appropriate manual intervention. So a claim that moves itself forward, but raises a flag and says, oh, hey, I need you to look at me. This particular function really, really could use a human set of eyes and some sort of human to human interaction potentially. There's there's a great opportunity for customer service there, good customer service there too, I think. I saw a company had a slogan the other day, they wanted to be the, the best part of your worst day. And that really stuck with me. I'm like, this is what insurance carriers should be aiming for. And I, I think there's a huge potential for it. I, I completely agree. And um, I don't want to plug Duck Creek too much, but uh, that's really at the heart of what our CEO loves to talk about. We, we want to be there for customers when the worst happens. We want to help them get help these carriers get their customers back to normal as quickly as possible and bringing the right mix of technology and thought leadership to the table um, hopefully can really help these carriers achieve those goals. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Well, listen, we love being partners with you guys. We shared that exact same mission and happy to be a a part of that solution for your customers and our customers and always, always love these thoughtful conversations. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, great to see you again, Andrew.